Hi there, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. If this is the first time you're visiting us, please check out our website, which is commercial-realestate-training.com. We share plenty of ideas at that website regards commercial real estate brokerage around the world. So for today, the video is about listing and marketing solutions in brokerage. In fact, I'm only going to focus on three particular solutions of marketing that are so important in today's activities in brokerage around the world, be it sales, leasing, activities in any city, any country. These three factors matter so much. So grab your notebook, come back and listen to the program, make your notes and decide what action steps you can take. So let's go a little bit further. When listing a commercial or retail property for sale or lease, it is easy to cut the corners or succumb to the pressures of the client and their special deal requests as part of the listing process. So what's the special deal? Well, perhaps they don't want to pay marketing money or perhaps they want a lower commission. It's your choice, so make your choice. The second point here is the reality is that the real estate agent understands the property market far better than the client. That being said, you are of value to the client, more so than any commission reduction or reduction in marketing funds. If you have sold your services comprehensively and directly to the client, then your solutions are far more important than any discounts you'll give them. The third point here, on the basis, the agent should be confident and decisive in the presentation and listing process. On the basis of recommendations made with marketing, discounts and shortcuts should not apply. Remember that. Sell your services comprehensively, directly and in a relevant way. It's hard for a client to ignore the best agent with the best solutions and the best recommendations. So take that a bit further. So what are the golden rules of marketing? Well, I've simplified it right down to just three golden rules of marketing. Let's have a look at them. Vendor paid marketing. Vendor paid advertising is a critical component of the marketing decision when it comes to taking a property to the market for sale or lease. That's so important. Vendor paid marketing, getting some dollars across the table from the client to help with the property promotion. Understandably, clients like to cut corners and expenses when it comes to the property sale. So that's not good. Cutting corners doesn't achieve results and you should sell that idea in your listing pitch. The reality is that shortcuts in vendor paid advertising are counterproductive and will in fact produce fewer inquiries. Is that what the client wants? Of course not. You would think that the property vendor would understand the importance of expenditure at the time of sale or lease, expenditure in marketing, and also in property performance for that matter. The agent or the salesperson should therefore consistently recommend ad strategies of vendor paid marketing for each and every listing. Exclusively listed, vendor paid marketing applies. As part of that process, to help the client further. That's what it's all about. The agent can offer two or three vendor paid marketing packages to give the client some sort of budgetary choice, and that's okay. So don't just ask for one sum of money, give them three choices. When they have choices, they are likely to choose the middle one. It's a fact. Let's go to number two, exclusivity. An exclusive listing is really the only way to take the property to the market if the client is serious about the sale or lease. The exclusive listing process gives the client the dedicated focus of the salesperson and the agency for a fixed period of time. So explain that. Understand that if the client is giving you the listing for a long time, then you have the opportunity to work on it exclusively and delve into the target market of business owners or investors, as the case may be, in any sale or lease scenario. All property inspections, negotiations and communications can be specifically constructed to bring about the best outcome in the property sale or lease for the client with exclusivity. Any client that insists or asks for an open agency list is essentially wasting their own time and also that of the agency and yourself. The reality is that open listings stay on the market far too long. Agencies on a basis of exclusivity don't stay on the market too long at all. Open listings are simply an exercise in random marketing and generate random inquiry, and that's no good. 
On average, the successful exclusive listing processes in commercial and retail property should be for a period of three or four months. After that, after that time, the property will have saturated the local property market if you have done it correctly. If a sale or lease has not occurred and the real estate agent performed their duties correctly, then it is better to take the property off the market for later repositioning, pricing and relisting. So there are some choices here. Exclusivity gives you the control. You can control the marketing, the inspections, the negotiations. You can also control the client in what they're thinking and doing when it comes to repositioning. Think about it, work with it. So the last point here is number three. The best method of sale or lease. The right method of sale or lease should be suitably chosen to give the marketing campaign real momentum, exposure and maximise the opportunity for the client. That is, optimise the property inquiry and clearly support the client with their ultimate property disposal targets. In any given property market, the methods of sale or lease will vary subject to the property type, the target market and the levels of local inquiry. You know this. You have to work with this. That's why you choose the best method of sale or lease, as the case may be. The real estate agent, that's you, should give the client significant and real local area recommendations to consider as part of the best method of sale or lease, the decision for that. And in there somewhere is your marketing money, the vendor paid marketing money. So you need to focus on the three things that I've just mentioned here. Drive your business forward through the three things. Remember how to drive the listing into the target market comprehensively. So simplicity really does work. As simple as these three elements seem or may be, it is remarkable how some agencies and salespeople do not prepare well for the appropriate supporting arguments and negotiations with the client at the listing process. It pays to remember that the client requires property assistance in the most timely and efficient way at the best outcome in price or rent. Cutting corners or giving concessions should not feature in the listing process. The client will understand that if you explain it. On that basis, the three points mentioned are consistently the best ways to go when with marketing a commercial property in today's sale or lease scenario in your town or city. The golden rules address the listing and marketing strategies, the important ones, in promoting the property and getting a result. So that is the video program for today. My name is John Highman. Thank you for listening to the program. Of course, visit the website and get many more tips, tools and ideas relating to commercial real estate online, commercial real estate brokerage. The website is commercial-realestate-training.com. I'll catch you again very soon online with another very specific message for commercial real estate brokerage around the world.